Hello everyone, Trying to you here, and welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. So in the last episode, we just kind of started going through the month of August. There's going to be a lot of cutscenes today, though, if I remember correctly. And, uh, well, Bebby does want to go see a movie, and, well, for once, we will accept his offer. He better not get used to it, though. This is the only time. So I didn't even see what we're reading today, I just kind of skipped through it all. Uh, what's the theme today? Oh, they're showing French films. Yeah, that adds up. Yeah, you might not like the front seats. All right, we're good. I think Stupid Kenji is literally the only one stupid enough to want the front seats in the movie theater. But Bebe, I thought that you don't care about your own language because you want to live and die in Nihon. Because you are a samurai or something. Well, whatever. Ah, yes. Summer vacation will be over soon, don't remind me. And yes, the film festival will be ending in a week. So yeah, we should maybe invite someone to the dorm. Now, think. Who did we ask in the past? In my other playthrough, that is, of course. Because there was one person who frequents the dorm that, uh, well, perhaps never went to the movies. And maybe they would really like to. Let's talk to Akutsuki over here. Yes, it is warm today. It is August. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I, I've been going there like every day. Seems no one's interested. Oh, well, what's the theme this year? It seems Akutsuki really wants to go to the film festival. Uh, I can go with you. Yes, Akutsuki, really. Uh, look, just don't think about it. Yeah, it's summer vacation. Oh, well, thanks, Akutsuki. Man, what a great guy. So, yeah, what is the theme today, even? Today, they're showing movies about the origin of modernism. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think there's ever been more than one of these movies shown at a time ever. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll at least get something out of it, so I guess that's good. You sense the philosophical meaning behind the lines and development of the plot in the old movies. Ah, so yes, academics. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Akutsuki. Yeah, some silent films? Absolutely. Uh, Akutsuki's talking by himself. Well, why so quiet? Uh, maybe. <laughs> In modernation! Uh, yeah, let's just go back. Uh, before I shoot you. Don't remind me. I, I keep telling you, don't remind me. Yeah, so we have to find someone else to go to the movies with today. Uh, but first... Damn it, I'm tired of your nagging. I'm sorry, but I won't take no for an answer. Well, the answer is still the same. I'm not coming back. You know, another new Persona user joined us. And he's not human. What? It's a dog. He lost his master six months ago because of the shadows. He's incredibly loyal. Up till now, he's been guarding the spot where his master was killed. Despite the bad memories. Talking to? Guess it'd be rude to butt in. We saw someone die right before our eyes, too. But it's been two years since then. How long do you plan to beat yourself up over it? You're always at that spot behind the station, even though you don't hang out with the crowd there. It doesn't matter. It was my fault, and it can't be erased. What difference does it make if I come to terms with it? It won't change anything. This isn't the same as what happened to Miki. Shinji. That's enough already. I just want to forget it ever happened. Two years ago. <gasps> Can't be. So, his name is Shinji, huh? Well, uh, enough about that. Let's, let's go downstairs and talk to someone about some movies. How about you, Kari, today? Yep, another hot day. Uh, should you, though? Oh, wow, what a what a jerk. How rude. Well, I may not be that friend, but do you want to go to the movies anyway? Yeah, with me, Yukari, come on. Oh, cool. Well, don't hurt me if you don't. Don't worry. I think I'll be fine. What's the theme today, anyways? Ooh, the Willpower series. 
That's right. Well, now we'll be motivated to fight the shadows, Yukari. <laughs> well, I, I was called a tomboy during the first full moon operation, right? I think I can enjoy some manly movies. So there's some academics. I thought it was gonna be like courage or something. Yep, that's that's pretty true. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not yet. Ask me, well ask yourself that question again in a few months. <laughs> I'm having fun with this one. Yeah, that, that was, this is all great stuff, Yukari. Thanks for the recommendation of uh like going with me to the movies. Yeah, a bite sounds great. I'm actually not hungry at the moment. I'm recording at a different time today. It's weird. Sup, dude? But we're not done with today, after all. What's something I can do to pass the time? Uh, sleep? Oh, he's not sleepy though, so uh, uh, that's, that's not good. Anyways, yeah, today we are uh, hanging out with Koromaru. Is he bored? Oh, yes he is. So let's spend the evening with him. You took Koromaru out for a walk. And we'll arf right at you. Seems happy, like it. Oh, never mind. Not so happy. Koromaru suddenly started growling. Someone is coming from the other direction. Oh yeah, what what are you going to do, Mr. Ono? It's a student, yes it is. Uh that yes, that is a dog. Mr. Ono is staring at Koromaru. <laughs> uh yes, he's a dog. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Uh, is this my dog? I'm, I'm, uh, is he, I don't know. Is this your dog? I mean, we, we, it doesn't matter. We, just, we say, yeah, sure. Can I borrow him? Just lend him to me. N no, sorry. Lost in the boring. Dogs are great at looking for stuff. Now listen here. A warlord of the Sengoku era didn't think of dogs as pets, but he don't really understand what's going on, but Mr. Ono seems desperate. It seems he wants Koromaru to look for something he lost. Oh, Arf. Can you do it, boy? Oh, Koromaru's on the case. Love to see it. <laughs> if he finds it, I'll let you know what will be on the next test. All right, so he lost a USB memory stick. Ah, uh, yes, I know exactly what those are. <laughs> Koromaru is listening patiently. <laughs> I don't care about the data on it, it's just stupid things like test questions. But it's important to me. Uh, smells like this? Mr. Ono is pushing his helmet, Koromaru. Koromaru seems a little annoyed. Uh, what do you mean? That's that's not his name. Who? Oh, uh, yeah, no, sorry Mr. Ono, I, I don't know who Tojitsune, uh, Maida is. Uh, ugh. During the Azuchi Omoyama period, Tojitsune Meido was. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> Koromaru is sniffing around, but not listening at all. Well, start off Fortress Shrine. <laughs> Koromaru is digging in the sand. Koromaru pulled something out with his teeth. It looks like a katana. Oh, uh, that's it, huh? Uh, no. No, you didn't. Uh, but that's a katana. Oh, it is a memory stick, huh? Mr. Ono pulled out the katana. There's something small projecting out inside instead of a blade. It looks like it can be inserted into a computer. <laughs> oh, you gotta love novelty USB drives. Uh, no, I can't. I wouldn't have been able to sleep without it. And I've been invited to a wedding, so I'd be embarrassed to go unarmed. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with understand, Mr. Ono. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure they were. Yeah, who knows? Koromaru is sitting patiently. Uh, okay, yeah, what's gonna be the next test? Alright, a real big hint. Listening? Listening? Study then Sengoku period. Uh, okay. We didn't give a reward to the dog. Thanks, Koro. When you pat his head, he's squinting his eyes pleasantly. You feel like your bond with Koromaru has gotten stronger. So yeah, nice little rank four, a nice little fun moment there with Mr. Ono uh, forcing the dog to find a USB stick by smell. Oh, sneeze. 
The sand from the sandbox seems to have gone in his nose. Oh, that's so sad. Well, we go on to the next day now. Well, that was a bit of a long day, wasn't it? At least compared to the other ones. So yes, once again, we have to invite someone from the dorm. I mean, I guess, yeah, the huge difference with this film festival is that at this point in time, we don't nearly have as many social links going on at once. I mean, actually, I don't know. I mean, we, we kind of do. But, I mean, there are still... Well, yeah, actually, no, yeah. Th that's pretty fair to say. We, we definitely have less social links at this general point in time than we did as the male. Anyways, we're going to talk to Akihiko today. Because, well... It's time for us to go see a movie together. Let's invite him to the film festival. Uh, yes, I did. I mean, of course, that's that's just kind of a given, I think. Oh yeah, let, let's do it. So what we got today? Chop Saki movies? As long as they're not Chop Saki. What does he mean by there's a lot of guys here? I mean, what was he? What does he expect with a Chop Saki movie? Why is there academics? You figure like some of the stuff would be like courage or something. Uh, hopefully not literally. Eight foot lateral d d jump. Yeah, maybe that's why. Maybe there's other reasons. Yeah, no, maybe Akiko would really like some cheesy '80s action movies because they always have that training montage. I, I think he would really vibe with those movies. But we really don't need Akiko getting like the ideas of being an '80s action hero. I don't think. That would not be very great. Who's ready for a bit of a double feature? Because I think I am. Who's calling me? Uh. Yeah, Rio, sorry, I, I am busy. I already saw a movie with you, so... Yeah, leave. <laughs> we're, we're done here. So I don't know why I keep going out of my, my door like I have to. But uh, if we go downstairs here, and we talk to Koromaru, Oh, well, his intense desire to go somewhere, huh? It appears that if he does not go today, he will not be able to go at all. Oh, absolutely. I will be listening to that in, like, full. So we are going to accept Kormar's inv invitation. Because, well, he wants to go to the movies too, baby. Yeah, they're showing the popular serial, True Battles of Real Men. Oh, but Kormar is a little sad. Oh, never mind, he's happy. He can't wait any longer. Let's go. Let's enter the movie theater. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He says that Kormar was just a realistic doll, but the management kicked you out of the theater. Frick. There you go. There's our courage, finally. And Koro, not very happy. Oh, I'm sorry, boy. Like, I'll, I'll tell you what, okay? Uh, uh, what, what, yeah, when the DVD comes out, we're going to buy it. We're going to watch it. You and I, we're going to be hanging out. You can come to my room, you can sleep on the bed, I don't even really care. However, remember what I said, what like, two minutes that? ago? About the double feature? What I mean by that is that it is time for Koromaru to hang out with us again. He is spending the whole day with us, whether he wants to or not, and I think he kind of wants to. Just throwing that one out there. Ooh. He's happy. Love to see it. Someone is coming from the direction Koromaru is looking in. It's a woman you've seen before. Oh yeah, hey, it's, it's the passing housewife. You seem to recall this is the woman who told you about Koromaru's past when you first met him. I mean, we, di we just came here. Yeah, we, we, we've heard about that before. She repeated the story you were told before. Uh, I mean, maybe not. Same... Too bad, there's nothing like that I can think of. Yeah, just go go ahead and just do your shopping. Stop talking to me, okay? Oh. Kormar was sitting patiently. We're with you, buddy. Arf. <laughs> it's a quiet night with no one around. Oh, we're, we're getting some awoos. Kormar howled towards, towards the shrine. Other dogs return the hollow from every direction. 
Saying hi to the priest? Koromaru is sitting quietly, facing the shrine. You can't understand Koromaru's speech, but you feel as if you've come to understand him. Oh. What a nice scene. He's just saying hi. Love it. Koromaru has turned around to look at you. Look. And now we're gone. And I guess well, there's no reason for me to stop talking because there's going to the next day. Hmm, yes, yeah, so invite someone to go with us. I don't know who's calling me. Oh, hi, Akihiko. Can I speak? Sorry, now's not a good time. Oh, poor Akihiko. I mean, it sounds better than going to the movie with Junpei, but... Bebe, what did I tell you? Stop calling me! We've seen our movie? That was the last thing. Oh my god, who else is calling? Oh, hi, Sayori. I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. It's fine, she doesn't get an angry response. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I feel like I remember there being a lot more cutscenes, but I think that's coming in the next few days. But, uh, I, we'll just make the best of our time right now. Hello, Junpei. Man, remember going to movies and like, yeah, I want to see the trailers. I'm trying to remember, like, I feel like the last movie I recall seeing where I was like, yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to remember, like, what movie I watched that had a trailer for Hardcore Henry. Was that Deadpool that had a trailer for it? Maybe. And then Hardcore Henry was good. I think, I, I mean, good is, is, uh... Very subjective. I, I enjoyed it a lot. I had a great time watching it in the theater. I imagine it's not quite the same watching it on like your, your TV in your living room. But I definitely enjoyed watching it in the theater. <sighs> yeah. Westaboos. You know what I'm saying? We got Weaboos, we got Westaboos. You just can't win no matter where you look. Well, we are getting to the very tail end here of the, the movie festival. Thank Jesus. But first... It's me. I apologize for the interruption, but do you have a moment? Didn't we just do this the other day? Good morning. Good morning. The chairman will be here tonight. We'll meet on the fourth floor as usual. That's all. Okay. Oh, she, yeah, she seems to have left. Well, we have to go find someone to go see a movie with today. And well, do you know who that's going to be? Uh, just come on. Give me, give me the right one here. Go relax till then. Uh, any suggestions on how to relax? Well, how about we go see a movie? Yes, this is apparently true. You know, I sometimes think about how I used to go out a bunch of times. In the, in the before COVID times. And then, uh, like, depending on how long that hangout session was, I would just start getting, like, <laughs> overly anxious about wanting to go home. Uh, God. Yeah, someone's saying ninjas are the coolest of the cool. Absolutely correct. Junpei, August, and I are all on the same wavelength here. You saw the history of ninjas and learned about their mind-bending fighting techniques. Good. Yes, I mean, like, like I said, August understands. Even though she's going to be jokey about it, she knows deep in her heart of hearts that that is actually the realest thing that she has ever said. Uh, may maybe. Can't really hide around that much with the internet. Yes. Yes, you will. Oh, stupid jokes. Good, you're all here. Please, come in. Sorry to interrupt. You must be kidding. After running several tests, we've learned that he has more than adequate potential. I called this meeting so that I could introduce him, since he'll be joining our squad. But, but Mr. Chairman, he's still in elementary school. Besides... Besides what? His ability is quite promising. With the proper training, he could be a big help. But is he okay with it? Actually, I asked to join. I believe I can be of some assistance. Now, I finally know why I was given this power. So, as you can see, it was his own decision. 
nice to meet you all. I'll try not to get in anyone's way. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Hey, don't worry, kid. We got your back. It may be hard at times, but stick with it. Yes, got it. Yes, so Kenamata. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. But of course, we have two more, three more movies to see. But I think we have a cutscene today as well. Uh, we have Theodore calling. So this is probably just him saying, Someone has come into Tartarus. Oh, yes. Yeah, see you later, dude. Whatever. I'll go to Tartarus tomorrow. Spoilers, we're going to Tartarus tomorrow. Oh, man. This year's going fast. It's already second semester. Next year, I'll be a senior. <laughs> that girl. She's drawing again. You again. Um, well, uh, I mean, I'm surprised you remember me. Same here. Well, you kind of stand out in that dress. So, what are you drawing? Nothing. Why? Uh, no reason. I was just thinking, must be nice to have something you're really into. It's no big deal. I only draw because I like to. Oh, yeah? Still, I'd like to see it when you're done, okay? Hmm. Well, I surely hope that nothing happens between those two. I mean, maybe it may be good, actually. Who knows? Junpei is, uh, you know, he's putting his best foot forward, I think, or something. Anyways, uh, let's talk to Fuka, the Fuka Bazooka. Yeah, that was definitely a surprise. You can say that again, Fuka. Yeah, that, that's good. Hey, enough about that. You want to go see some movies? I do want to go with you, Fuka. Nice. Oh, what's the theme today, even? I mean, I just ask people if they want to go. I just find out when I get there. So today they're showing some science fiction movies. Hard science fiction. None of this light shit, okay? Oh, it's a science fiction story that can really happen? Oh. Well, Fuka, you're wrong. <laughs> Sorry, that's just all that, all that happens. I mean, sure, maybe not as thought-provoking, but it can be very cool. Yeah, come on, let's go see the movie. We can talk about all this stuff later. The movie made you think hard about the near future. Well, not hard. It just made you think. It's, we're just thinking about it normally. Why did that make our charm go up? You gotta get rid of the wrinkles on their clothes in half a second. That'd be great, I think. I don't know. I, I pay no mind to the state of my clothes. Besides, they're on me. They're in my, my hamper. They go through a rigorous wash cycle a few times, a spin cycle. They get dried. Greetings. I then lay them out and I hang them up. Hello. I thought I'd remind you. The next full moon will be in one week. World's shittiest alarm clock. Are you ready? Only a few trials remain, so be careful. I look forward to seeing you again. And he's gone. So now we're going to 8.30. Only two more movies left. Are you excited? I know I am. So who are we going to invite today? Great question. Let's go down to the first floor and look at our candidates. No, we already invited him. Already went to see a movie with her. We tried. Saw one with her. Not yet. Uh, already saw one with her. Jun Junpei is, uh, he's dead. That's unfortunate. No, today we are talking to Mitsuru. Because she has a free day. You have a free name? Let's go see some movies then. Oh, you got some VIP, like... You know, assuming this is just a normal, everyday movie theater. 
what difference would VIP tickets do? Like, I'm sure that it's from a distributor. So, like, did a movie come out? And they're like, oh, here are these these tickets for this movie they can redeem anywhere, uh, Miss Carrijo. I, I just don't get it. Anyways, we were seeing some classic romance movies. They're like, Mitsuru, you can't really pick apart the scripts. Because if you pick apart the scripts under very mass scrutiny, uh, the next thing you know, you're going to be making a YouTube video essay that's like three hours long, and it's like, everything wrong with eternal love. Uh, I mean, hey, we, we, we've all been there. It's it's fine. Look, you know, she's a little embarrassed, but that's fine. Let's just go home. Hello. Uh, have I noticed what? Yeah, who cares, Ken? Nice talking to you. So, it is time to go to Tartarus. Oh, person one spotted. Uh, get out of here, will ya? Get out of the way, Shadow, will ya? Thank you. Look, it's another city man. Let's get you out of here. Suffer. Persona! Look, do I even gotta say anything anymore? Die. Night. Well, we hit the top again. Floor 114. Well, on to the next day. One more movie to watch. All right, we're so close to being done. We're so close. It's fine. I promise. So, we meet again, huh? That's because you keep coming back. I'm Junpei. What's your name? You live around here? Fine, fine. Ignore me. I'm used to it. Hey, wait! Your hand! What's with that cut? You're bleeding! What is it with you? Why don't you mind your own business? But you're bleeding for crying out loud. I, I think I got a hanky here. Give me your hand so I can tie this over the wound. Why are you in such a panic? Are you crazy? Anyone would freak out over this. You need to see a doctor. Y you want me to go with you? Uh, you're weird. Chidori. Uh -huh. That's my name. You asked, right, Junpei? I'm almost done with the picture. I doubt you'll understand it. But if you want to see it, then you know where to find me. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit more dialogue there as well. Yeah, you know, like that, that's the thing about like playing portable is like there's just a little bit of extra dialogue added in some of these scenes that like I don't know, it, could, it, it mostly probably just for the fact that like we can't actually see what's going on. Uh, it definitely helps with the animate, like, the old animated cutscenes that were here and, like, making them not sound weird. Anyways, uh, today, it is time for the last day of summer vacation, and then Ken's like, oh, I just, I just want to know if you want to go do something, I don't know. See, so, yeah, we're going to go invite him into the movies. Into the movies. It's a different game, though. So, today, we're, sh we're watching superhero movies. Oh, yeah. And, of course... You know, Ken, you know, Ken is, is trying to act a little over his age group here. You want to learn more about that? Come back again tomorrow. <laughs> you feel like you've seen the hero transform hundreds of times. It makes you feel as if you can transform yourself. I mean, what, if this was Digital Devil Saga, yeah, yeah, you would. You're in the wrong game for that one. And Ken... Over the moon. Absolutely loves it. You know what? Good for you, Ken. I'm glad you liked it a lot. Just don't pretend like you don't care. Uh. Mm. Alright, well, yeah, whatever you say, man. A very fair critique there. At least it doesn't go, uh -huh, like a Kutsuki. Alright, so I will Welcome leave, back. I will leave this whole thing here. Uh with one last strength visit. And by visit, I mean we're, we're going to go hang out with Koromaru. He's right here. You like Koromaru? I like Koromaru. Let's spend the evening with him. All right, he's happy. Good start. Oh, never mind. He is not happy now. Koromaru sudden, suddenly started growling towards the shrine. You hear voices. I heard this place is totally haunted. Come on, let's go in. No way, I'm scared. You're up to something funny, aren't you? 
Damn it, it's locked. Just have to break down the door. Someone's trying to break into the main temple. Koro not having that shit. God, what's with this dog? <laughs> yeah, that's, how, that's how a dog growls. Where's the cops in the pound? It's their job to kill off stray dogs. He finally caught up. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't stay out of this, you brat. Time to call the cops. Yeah. They're gonna put you down. Yeah, you better just leave. Punk ass. Cormor is on guard as he watches the two leave. <laughs> you should have bit him. No, it's all right now. And now we're back to being in a good mood. In any case, you seem to have done your part to protect the shrine. Cormor is nuzzling you with his head. He feels if Cormor is thanking you. Huh, an animal who's all about the shrine, huh? No, that's a different game. It says it's rank six with Koromaru. And, uh, well, it's time to keep walking. He was just doing our, his part. We were doing our part. And now, rise for the national anthem number two. Yeah, so it's the second semester, which means that we have a new song. This song is called Sun. Uh, you know, kind of the theme is the way that we had a vocal song in the first semester of the mail route as well. And then we get just a more upbeat bop. Well, this one's even more upbeat. And uh, I don't know if it actually features French. I don't think it has French in it. But whatever. Mr. Takanoza, uh, it is super conductivity. Ba bam uh, Yeah, whatever. Shut up. I don't care about what you have to say. However, after this lunchtime hour, it is time for this episode to finally come to an end. A Sayori, yeah, I'm coming today, girl. Because, well, that's that's what we gotta do today. So next time, the September full moon event is going to be right around the corner. And well, this time, it'll be very fun.